Hello. Today, we are here to talk about how to import contacts from an Excel spreadsheet into Outlook. This is a really helpful tool for moving contacts between accounts, between employees, or between different pieces of software. Excel is one of the most powerful sorting and organizational tools available to you, and the ability to import a contact list from Excel into Outlook expands the utility of both programs. So to get started, here's our contact list that we've set up in Excel. This is just a very basic list with a few names, but the same principles are going to apply even if you're dealing with much bigger lists. The key to importing a contact list from Excel is saving the list in the right format. So come up here and select Save As, and then use this menu to select CSV. You must save your contact list as a CSV file to be able to easily import it into Outlook. Remember what you named your file, and then let's switch over to Outlook. From Outlook, click on the File menu and then choose the Open and Export menu item. Then over to the right, you're going to click on Import Export. Then select the option to import from another program or file. Obviously, you're going to choose CSV file since that's what we just created, and then navigate to your file and import it. Now, once you follow through the prompts, including selecting your contacts folder as a destination for the import, you're going to land here. Now, from here, you want to select the option to do some custom mapping. So you'll see that some of the headers have automatically mapped, like if I open up name and we can see first name and last name have gone over here. For anything that doesn't match up exactly, though, you can make sure that your information is going where you intended it to by dragging and dropping values where you want them mapped to within Outlook. For instance, under my landline column, I have contacts home phone numbers. So I'll drag that over here to home phone. Once you're done mapping, just click finish and your contact import will be complete. Then all we have to do is go to our contacts and we can see the two contacts that we had created in our spreadsheet. Hopefully you found that helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.